Have you ever had a crawfle? No, I've never heard of a crawfle. So apparently it's a croissant that becomes a waffle. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. I like breakfast food. Now that is getting a lot of attention at a local coffee shop right here in Philadelphia. Of course, PHL 17's Alex Butler joins us live from the ground with more. And that is a crawfle. Looks good, Alex. A crawfle. It's literally a croissant and a waffle. It's been getting very popular. I've been holding it in my hand for too long, so my, my whip started to melt, but I'm glad because I was going to eat it, but I saved it so I could show it to you guys. If you look up here, you can see how gorgeous this is. We're at the ground coffee plants and gifts, and the whole idea is that you come in, you get your coffee, you can get a plant if you want, and the gift of good food. All right, my girls are here with me this morning. We have Molly and Michelle. Michelle, walk us through. How did you come up with the idea for the crawfle? Well, I'm half Korean, and in South Korea, the crawfle is all the rage. A crawfle is a French croissant that's baked as a Belgian waffle. We and this is this is the Bel this is how you baked it, but this is the this original. Is how it starts. That's yes. how it starts. That's a basic full butter croissant, delicious. And then you guys put sugar on that. Yeah, Covered we brulee sugar. it, and then we put it in a Belgian waffle. We serve it hot with either dolce de leche, strawberry preserves, or chocolate, and of course whipped cream. Okay, where's the whip? Do we lose our whip? Uh oh, we lost our whip. Oh no, we've got yeah. it back. So you guys top these and then they have a choice when it comes to flavors. So you're gonna yeah. put the whip on, but when it comes to flavors of the sauce, is it, or the syrup? Yes. So what's this one? This is Dolce de Leche, which is one of our favorites. It's incredibly creamy, um, like a caramel with a milk base. It's, it's Yellow. dreamy. It's okay. dreamy. And then you guys also do drinks. So walk yeah. us through, so when they come in to get the coffee and whatnot, you guys have some fun ones back here. This is um, a bubble tea, it's called our um, um, unicorn. It actually tastes like Captain Crunch berries. And Captain it, it, Crunch berries? I swear to God, it's what? so good. Yeah. Captain Crunch? Yeah, taste it. It is strawberry, taro, and coconut. And oh my that, God, it really does taste right? like that. That's wild. <laughs> and to stick with cereal theme, this is our Cinnamon Toast Crunch Latte. It is also so good. It tastes like that yummy cereal milk after you've had a giant, massive bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So cool and so yeah. yum. And then you guys also do, of course, the basic coffees too, but with oh, the yeah. pizzazz. This one is a pistachio mocha, which is delicious. Oh. Adding a little bit of that savoriness from pistachio with chocolate is yum yum. And this is, of course, just an oat latte which is, you know, the go-to for the go -to. these young, hip you kids. Okay, and then, of course, you can see there's lots of plants that are in here. So you got a choice of all these beautiful gorgeous plants. I'm going to bring over Molly. So walk us through. Sorry, we're working with the sunlight yeah, here. Yeah, that's okay. So you guys have a it. lot of unique plants that you curate in here. Yes, so we try to do a good mix of, like, easy-to-care-for house plants. Today's National House Plant Day, right? Yes. As we know. <laughs> um, so this is one of our favorites. It's a milk confetti um, variegations. It has some nice pink and light colors. Everything from exotic guys like Monsters, the Swiss cheese, a lot of these, like, shade-loving plants, which we know are better for houses to succulents and cactuses. We just try to curate things that we like, that make us happy, um, that our customers love, and then a lot of fun little pots and planters to put yeah, in. Yeah, let me just show you guys this. This is my favorite part. Up top over here, you can see their wall of planters. I asked them, I was like, guys, wait a second. I was like, this goes up really, really high. I'm like, who goes up there to get these? They were like, we do, with a very tall ladder. I feel like if you want one at the very top, you have to come and pick it up the next day. Maybe we'll see about that. But anyway, I'm going to send it back to you guys, but I got to try this crop. Okay, we didn't talk about the waffle without getting a taste of the crawfle. So we gotta do it. Hold on. Should I use a fork and a knife? Should I be yeah. proper? Nah, just pick okay, it up. is there enough time for a proper eating? No, Jimmy's like, no, just pick it up. Nah, just grab a it. proper yeah. eating? Here, you hold that. All right, a proper I know he's like, don't be proper, Alex. Okay, let me just be a little proper, Jimmy. Did you hear that crunch? I know. Did you hear the crunch? I don't know if you heard it. Holy snap! I told you. You guys, this is really okay. This is really good. You know it's very, very good. Oh snap. It looks <laughs> a croissant. That was a holy waffle. snap, not an oh snap. snap. Holy right. snap. <laughs> I was worried she was gonna say something else, but she, she but she said snap. Why that good? Why that good? I know what show this is, but it's not HBO. <laughs> Thanks so much, Alex. It looks delicious. <laughs>